Oh yeah. Come on. All right. I'm about ready to go live. Okay guys, we have an offer. 200 cash. Cash? Let's yeah. take it. Hi hey guys, welcome. Well, on today's episode, we're gonna do something a little bit different. You know that golf cart that we got the boys last year for their birthday? Well, it's time to sell that thing because it is a complete piece of beep. So I'm gonna gather the family around so we can all say our goodbyes. Hey everybody, I need all of your attention. Okay. Follow me out to the golf cart. Say your final goodbyes. That cover tree is worth 150 bucks. No, that cover was a hundred dollars. I know, I still feel like we could get this some money out of it. Present. Yeah, look at this. Oh, the key has been left on. Oh, it has? Hopefully that battery didn't die. Well, here's the thing. There's still a lot of life in it. I'm gonna put it on Facebook today and we're gonna see if we can get this thing sold. We are willing to barter and we are willing to take trades of literally anything. They're a birthday present, so shouldn't they get to decide how much we get for it? Technically, yes. In this situation, no. If somebody were to buy it, I want to make a profit the on The most this. would be like 300. Okay, we bought it for? The very most would be 100. 300, bro. Because somebody could come in here and just easily I like... think it's 500. Really? Yeah. Let's start at five. Okay. Negotiate. And then it gives us a little wiggle room. Yeah, and then we'll make the person happy. Well, or very sad if they bought it. So it's it's kind of a double-edged sword, you guys. Okay, you guys can take the profits. That's fine. We probably need to get a little bit more electrical tape to hold that up. Don't care if Dad sells the golf cart. No, just like well, we have a car now, so we have a set of bills. But I know. Sad. Had a good run. Okay, yeah, I've guys... decided that I'm gonna let their them keep the money for their present. Oh, you are? No, it's okay. Because of the yeah, father but... I am. Yeah, <laughs> but have it go towards our car. It's How do you, guys, How do you feel about it, Liz? So go here. Don't even care. Because <laughs> she went on the golf cart maybe one time yeah. in a snowstorm. Yeah, literally, and I hated it. I was like, why? Betsy doesn't, or Alyssa doesn't like golf carts. Mom hates no, golf do. carts because no, it reminds her of like golfing. Them. No, I like golf carts. I just because it's freezing cold. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I didn't give you a convertible for your 16th birthday because it needed to be cold. <laughs> Betsy told me that I need to get pictures of this thing. Yeah. No one's going to buy it without a picture. So I'm here to take a picture and I'm also here. Hang on. Dad, are we taking off the cover? No, leave the cover on because the cover adds value. Same thing with the, leave the water bottle in there because that's, that'll probably get us an extra 50 cents. Should I put some leads in there? Why don't we see if it starts? Oh yeah. Start it all the way. Give it some juice. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sometimes what you want to do is take that, push that down, hit the top of that. See, that's where the muffler is supposed to be attached. That's the muffler, I think. And then this is the cylinder coil along with the inverter uh, replicator. So go ahead and give it a shot now. Come on. All right. Okay. Might be flooding the engine. Just uh. Okay, enough. We're flooding it. <sighs> what else do we have back here that can add value? I don't know, it looks like we have all sorts of coats and... Oh, we have a flashlight. That's gotta add something. Betty's blanket, that's probably worth the most. So this is Boston, this is all Boston. Boston's... Why is this a Pringles can? Oh my gosh, these kids. All right, let's go put it online. See if I can get it started a little bit later on. It doesn't even turn on. 
Well, it's because Boston left the keys in there. That's why. Boston's room really that. And some He left the keys turned on. Does that need a new battery? Probably. Left the bags in the key there. Did you get it out? Yeah. I got it out. This is who, this is what we're dealing with, okay? So let me type up something that we're gonna put on the ad. So this is some of the stuff we've just jotted down. Golf cart for sale, 500 OBO. Willing to trade for literally anything. Let's see, the cons. I think we should say a, just about anything. Just about anything? Because what if they wanna give us another broken golf cart? We don't want that. But isn't that literally anything? That's what I'm saying, not literally everything. So what do you want, how do you want me to change the wording? Almost. Almost anything. <laughs> How is that any different than literally? Because you're saying literally anything, and I'm saying literally almost anything. I don't want another broken golf cart. <laughs> if they give you a bobby pin for it, like if you're saying literally everything. Yeah. Okay. And I don't want a bobby pin. I got plenty of those. Okay. Golf cart for sale, 500 OBO. Also willing to trade for almost <laughs> anything. Okay. I'm going to post it online now. All right, guys. I'm about ready to go live. And we're live. Jumping the car. Okay. Actually jumping the golf cart with the car. So, let's go. You don't get a lunch if you did. Well, that's just <laughs> the price we pay. We are, we gotta make sure it's running if somebody comes. I posted it online, so we're ready to go. What do you do with the battery? How do you fix the battery? I think you just jump it with a normal car battery. You can? I'm gonna try. Maybe you should Google it. Nah. Day. What's the worst thing that could happen? What if you ruin the battery? What? I'll, let anyone. me let me just handle this. Sometimes you just have to do what's in your gut, you guys. And right now, I feel like we should jump it with the car. No need for Google when you got my brain. All right, guys, let's go. Okay, there's the battery. You found it. Yeah, I found the battery. I can't tell which one's the white or the red, the positive and neutral. So if you don't know, you usually just guess. It's usually the one that's more corroded. Oh, that is the red one. You can see the red, okay. So positive and not positive. Bring it this way, son. You guys how to jump a car, okay? A golf car. <laughs> so yeah. this is the hot positive lead. So come over here. The red is, goes on the red, and then this goes on the other one. But you want to give it a little bit of a shake because you want to make sure that the corrosion, the leads get past the corrosion. So then you come over here, you grab these, put red on red. Right. So dumb. And then you go like this. You don't really have to do this, but I do it because I'm always scared of getting electrocuted. Don't put your body on this. On what? On this, the metal. You're touching the metal. Oh. You're gonna get shot. Well, that's. Okay, see if it blows up or not. All right. See if this dog will start. Dad, it always does that. You have to just put it down a couple times, and then it will work. Put what down? Dad, what if you touch this? What, what are you doing to make the battery go on? Because I want to give it a little bit more juice. Uh, Dad, whenever we go on the golf cart, you have to put it on there and then let it go, and then put it on there and then let it go, and then put it on there and then let it go. You have to do that a couple times. Okay. Hang on, I just want to make sure it's charged. All right, we've got it trickle charging a little bit. Dad, why do you put this way? Because it doesn't work. It's broken. Okay. After all of this, looks like it was just out of gas. So uh, we're gonna fill it up with gas, and we're gonna see if. Um, gonna start. Fill her up, Joe Boo. It always does this, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, keep it going. Oh. The neighbors are gonna love it when this is sold. Dad, we should take this off because I feel like it looks more like. Let's you know what? Off, and then we'll just say, oh yeah, this can go on to it. It makes it more. I already funny. took the pictures with it on. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, anyways. Yeah, when I felt me. That ship has sailed. Dude, so. yeah, when I felt go, like, going in reverse that wheel, I just felt like it was going up and then down. That's yeah. Sad. 
Okay, guys. That's sad. We have yeah. an offer. What's the offer? We have an offer. All right. Tell me. 200 cash. Cash? Let's yeah. take it. Cash is king. Let's take it. Man, you're kind of a pushover. You probably will never be in sales. You can't take your first offer. Mm -hmm. You gotta put, you have to push back. Yes, no, that's not it. I think the, the okay. lowest we'll go is- We're selling our golf cart. Oh, so 250? Yeah. No, we're it's selling 50. it for 500. For 500. What did he, what did he, he, he said? He uh, said 200 cash. Eh. Start 275. Yeah. We're not in a hurry. I think 400. I saw 200. Yeah. I'll push back at four. Say four. 400 or or do you have anything four. to trade? Four or nothing. Four or no other no negotiation. Let me text him. 400 is where we need to be. He's really low balling. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is. He's, he's getting to me. It's he's okay. Like, he's throwing shots. This isn't Juan's first rodeo, I guarantee it. Yeah, we'll wait to see if he responds, okay? Oh, man. What a night. I was going back and forth with Juan all night on price. We got within $100, and we just decided at that point it was just better to part as friends. I've been going back and forth with a lot of people, but good news, there is a buyer, and here's how it works. He's from another country. I'm gonna Western Union him $10,000. And then a couple days later, he's gonna have his agent come and pick it up. And then he's gonna give me $11,000. So I'm gonna make $1,000 on the deal. And he's also gonna make me a prince um, of his country. So anyways, win-win. I sell the golf cart for a grand. I become a prince and the kids get a little bit of money. So anyway, there you go. Sold the golf cart, and I'm extremely happy. I'll insert the clip of the agent coming and giving me the money, of course, and once he crowns me a prince, I'll show you that as well. So the the prince thing didn't work out. I'm still waiting. I told him to refund me my money, but I don't know, we'll see how that turns. But we did have somebody that's gonna buy it. We actually had a lot of interest in this thing. So um, the lucky owner's name is Cameron. He's gonna get this deluxe model, Yamaha, I think. But right now I'm gonna try to fill up the tires for him so when he drives it, um, he can put it on his trailer or however he's doing it, so. Oh, it's finally sold. How amazing. And the kids have a little spending cash and I'm sure it's gonna burn a hole in their pocket, but let's get this these tires filled up. I prepped him up as soon as I got the phone again, so I'm like, well, he wants to get him in the trailer. For sure. Then he'll have at least, but these will, Okay. And then this is... How soon until the cops get called on you? 